up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can already tell, I have another box from Enchanted Mysteries. This is their Harry Potter Christmas box. So I do believe everything in here will kind of have a Christmas theme to it. But for those who don't know, Enchanted Mysteries is a UK based subscription company they not only do harry potter but disney mystery boxes as well as usual i do not remember exactly how much this box costs but i will put the picture up on the screen but before i jump in i did want to let you guys know that karen the owner of this company she did send me a voice memo on instagram and again you guys i love her accent. I wish I could play a clip for you guys just so you can listen to how cool her accent is. But she did reach out to me to let me know that one of the items in this box they originally thought was for like adults, but apparently later on after they had gotten it, it is for children. I kind of want to play you guys a little clip of her voice memo because she just felt terrible. You can hear it in her voice. She said this was like the first really big mix up of her company and she just feels awful. But let me just tell you guys, she's going out of her way to make up for this situation, if you would even call it that. She not only refunded us the money for that item, so I do believe it was like almost 15 pounds. So I don't know how much that is in US dollars. I'll put it on the screen. Um, so not only did she refund us for that item, so we pretty much got a free item in this box, but for those of us who bought this box, she is also giving us a little discount code that we could use in the future for another box. So she really has just kind of gone above and beyond to fix this. And like I said, when I first opened Enchanted Mysteries, my very first box from them, you can tell this company truly does care about their customers. Every experience I've had with Enchanted Mysteries has just been completely positive. I've only had great experiences so far with Enchanted Mysteries. This is definitely a company I can get behind and support. Again, guys, I'm not a rep for this company or anything. I did buy this box with my own money. But again, I can just tell that Karen and her team, everybody truly cares about the customers and their experience. And that is what makes a company. But but as always guys, that is enough rambling from me. Let's go ahead and jump into this box. If this is your first time seeing Enchanted Mysteries, this is the box. They have a lot of different Harry Potter and Disney things on here, like Harry's glasses, the lightning bolt, they even have the Darth Vader, or is that a stormtrooper? Star Wars something. But let's do a sneak peek. Ooh, oh, okay. So sneak peek, as you guys can see up here, we have a little bow with a sticker that says Merry Christmas. That is so cute. And on top we have a bag from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. I kind of love that she includes these in these boxes because again, a lot of us, you know, are not from London. We can't go to the Studio Tour. Like I've said a thousand times, it is my dream to go. I really wanna go one day. So it is kind of nice to have a little piece from the studio tour. And this says Death Eaters numbers grow. Very cool. And they also included another replica of Harry's Triwizard Tournament parchment paper. This is an item that you can get for free at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. So I don't know if she puts them in every single one of their boxes, but my first two boxes did actually have this in there. So she might, I'm not sure, but yes. And then we have two stickers with Enchanted Mysteries logo on there. And then we have our Enchanted Mysteries card. It has a very Christmas theme to it. Kind of a Santa fairy this time. And on the back it says, Merry Christmas from the team at Enchanted Mysteries. Wishing you and your family the most magical of times at this most wonderful time of year. Karen and the team. So it looks like we have another package once we get through the tissue paper. Oh, it looks like all of the items are kind of individually wrapped, just like Christmas presents. But this is the first one, and this is massive. It has a sticker that says, Merry Christmas. <gasps> you guys! We got a backpack! What? What? Okay. Okay, focus out of them. Platform nine and three quarters, Hogwarts Express. It even has Harry's glasses right here with the lightning bolts. 
I love that. I mean, obviously. This is so freaking nice. Oh, so it's like a little magnet down here. So we got a big pouch up here. Let's open this bad boy. I was not expecting a backpack. And this is a good size backpack, guys. Look at how much room. It even has another pouch back here. This honestly might be my work backpack because I can put my tablet back here. Oh, some more pockets on the side and then just kind of plain on the back. That is just awesome. Great start to this box, guys. Wow, okay. And next we have another package that says Merry Christmas. We got some reindeer down here. Oh, Santa. Upside down Santa. Santa. <laughs> Santa and the reindeers. It's a Christmas stocking with the Hogwarts crest on here. It even has a little keychain right here with an H for Hogwarts. Look how pretty this is and this is like that nice like velvet material like you can tell this is high quality i love this just like the backpack guys this box so far killing it now i will say this is probably like my third or fourth harry potter stocking in my collection now but that being said like i don't even care i definitely think this is probably like the fanciest one that I have now. Because yes, y'all, this is fancy. This is a fancy stocking. Like, I feel like my Nifflers will try to shove this in their little pouch. Like, fancy. And next we have a black pouch with some like Christmas bells on there. Feels like a box in there. Open, oh, <laughs> my help if I untie it. <laughs> okay, yes, we have a box. Ooh. Oh, this is from Alex and Annie. This is the jewelry that's on sale at the Harry Potter store in New York. And not gonna lie, guys, I hardcore debated on getting one of the bracelets they had there. If this is a bracelet, I I I'm gonna I'm gonna lose it. Just be prepared. Oh <laughs> the suspense is building, guys. So we have a green pouch. Oh, you guys, it's a bracelet. It's a bracelet. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, I love it. So yeah, we have a bracelet from Alex and Annie and it has a little platform nine and three quarters charm on here. That is so cute. Okay, let me take the tag off because I'm wearing this the rest of the video. <laughs> And one thing I really like about these bracelets is they actually do like stretch so you can just take them on and off. My wrist is a little bit smaller now so bracelets kind of go more toward my forearm but I love it. I love it. <laughs> and next we have another black pouch with a little sticker that says Merry Christmas. This definitely feels like Christmas. I think we have an ornament guys. And yes, it's an ornament. Let me take it out of the plastic. And it says Hogwarts Railways with the Hogwarts crest in the middle. Such a pretty ornament. And guys, this, this got some weight to it. Definitely a very high quality ornament. My Christmas tree is really more just like Harry Potter themed tree now. So this will definitely fit in perfectly on my tree. That is so pretty. Wow. I think this box was made for Nifflers because everything is just so pretty and shiny. <laughs> and next we have a little envelope that looks like the London flag and it has Merry Christmas here with some mistletoe. You guys, it's a Mina Lima item. Hold the phone, hold the phone. Let me take it out of the plastic. <gasps> It is a Quibbler card holder. You guys, I will actually be filming and posting a massive Mina Lima haul. And I do mean massive. I got a lot of items from their shop. So to say that I love Mina Lima, her art prints, everything, is an understatement. Understatement. So I love this beyond words. And the fact that it's based off the Quibbler 
You guys know Luna Lovegood is my favorite character. I honestly will probably never actually use this. It honestly might go on my Luna Lovegood shelf because I don't have cards. Like I'm a nurse, we don't have business cards. <laughs> Maybe I'll make me some uh, YouTube business cards one day and just pass them out randomly to people. <laughs> that would be the day. But even though I will probably never use this, I love this. And the last item in the box is the one that Karen refunded us for. This was the one she thought was for adults, but apparently it's for kids. And it says, waiting for my letter from Hogwarts, Harry Potter Hedwig, seven days of socks calendar. What? Create your own hanging seven days of socks calendar with your favorite Harry Potter Hedwig magical creature companion. Within this box, you will find seven envelopes, each labeled with their own number from one to seven, and a new pair of socks sealed inside. You will also get a piece of string to create your own hanging calendar. So, my kids are going to love this. This will definitely be a fun little activity that me and my kids can do together. So honestly, for me, the fact that this box not only gave me amazing items, but also a fun activity I can do with my kids. Like I know that wasn't the point of this item, but it kind of works out perfectly for me because I do have young kids. If you don't have kids, then I totally get why this item might be a big miss. But I'm not mad about it. I'm legit super excited to do this with Bella and Xander. Wow. But guys, that was it. That was everything from Enchanted Mysteries, their Christmas box. I honestly think this might be my favorite box from them so far. I mean, we got Alex and Annie jewelry, a backpack, a gorgeous Christmas stocking, an ornament, and a Nina Lima item? I mean, yes. Just yes. And happily, I did not get any duplicates in this box, which is very nice. Again, that's like the only downfall to this box is the risk of getting duplicate items, especially if you already have a lot of licensed merchandise in your collection. I actually really don't have that much licensed merchandise. Most of my collection is just from Harry Potter subscription boxes through the years. But as always, guys, you will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. I honestly did not have a least favorite item. Even the little kids advent calendar, I'm very excited about. Favorite item? I think it would have to be the bracelet because again, I really wanted to buy a bracelet when I went to New York. So the fact that I finally have one, that makes me really happy. I'm very, I'm very happy for this. So yeah, overall, like I said, I think this might be my favorite box so far from Enchanted Mysteries. I definitely foresee me buying more in the future. But as always, I would love to hear what you guys thought in the comments down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you wanna join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And don't forget, you can now join me on Patreon for some exclusive content and giveaways. But I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. Oh, are you back at it, Kit Kat? Are you back at it? I'm just waiting for Mama to film. Kit Kat's doing better, guys. If you watch my live, you know that she had a UTI recently, but she's doing better. She's doing better. Okay, are you gonna let me film? No. I love you. I love you. Okay, you can stay back there. Just let me film. Okay, let's do it. Do it, do it, do it now. Can't finish that. <laughs> Why are you the way that you are? Can you hear me? Can you see me? One of you guys commented to do that in my next live, and I need to remember to do that. <laughs> I want him on this side. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I want him on this side. <laughs> wow, okay. You can tell I've done this forever. No, maybe. 
I'm, I'm thinking about getting bangs, guys, because I pretty much already have bangs. Like, this is what has, like, grown back from when I lost all my hair. So, I pretty much already have bangs, and I feel like I should just get bangs and just let them all grow out together. Because it looks like I have, like, I don't, I don't know what to call this. It, uh, I feel like alfalfa. You know how he has, like, the... Uh, <laughs> Uh, or does it look better loose hanging doing its thing no maybe I don't know oh okay I'm done I'm done mm. thank you Kit Kat for your support all I want for Christmas is Botox yeah 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 <laughs> this is so tilted hold on guys I can't I can't why are you so tilted? There we go. That's a little, that's a little better. Okay. Um, oh, they're, they're picking up my trash, guys. Shh. <laughs> Mina, Lima, Llama, you're supposed to be dead. Wow. Mina, Lima. <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good job, train. My coffee got cold. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm so excited. A backpack. Man, we got a backpack. A backpack. We got a backpack. My kids are gonna flee us. Ooh, do your thumbnail, Tabitha. Jesus. What is up with me and thumbnails? I'm failing. One box down.